In this lesson, we'll be looking at another Euclidean geometry, circle geometry theorem. We'll be looking at angle at the center theorems. So if I draw a circle with center O, and then I take a line and I join from the circle, so I draw from the center to the circumference, I do it over there, and then we call this point over here A, and then I draw another line, and that line also starts from the center, and I go to the circumference over there, and let's call this point over here B, then just take a look at what happens if I do the following. As you can see, A and B form this angle over here. Now, if I start from A, and I take a line and I attach it to any other point here on the circumference. Let's go up here. I stop there and then I take another line and I start from B and I attach it at the same point up there. Let's call that point over there point C. And if you take your protractor and measure the following angles, you will see something very, very interesting. This angle over here, if I measure that and I compare the size of this angle to the size of this angle, you will see the following. Let's say, for example, this angle over here is 60. It might not match what my diagram says. Just go with it. Let's say this angle over here is 60 and you measure this angle. You will see that this angle ends up being 30. So this angle over here, you can see that it is the angle that is by the center. Here's the center over here and here's the angle it's called angle at center that angle will always be double this angle over here which we refer to as angle at circumference and if you look at the diagram you can see that you can see that this angle looks quite a bit bigger than this angle i hope you can see that and what's important to note is that both of these angles come from or are created by the same two points on the circumference. So if I start at the angle at the center and I go back on these two lines, you see I get to A and I get to B. If I start at the angle at the top, the angle at the circumference, and I go back along the two lines that formed that angle, I'll start at A and I'll start at B. And this works no matter how you connect these lines. So let's start again at the center. Let's call this A over here. Let's call this B over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start again at A, but now instead of connecting up here, so instead of connecting one line over here and one line over there, sort of like I did in the last video, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to take this line and go this way, okay? And I'm going to take this line and I'm going to go this way. And let's call this, once again, let's call this point C. The important thing that I want you to note is if you start at the center, you follow this line back, you get to A, you follow this line back, you get to B. This angle here is called angle at center. And if you start on the circumference and then you follow the line back, you follow it back, you get to A, and you follow this line back and you get to B. And this is called angle at circumference. So angle at center, angle at circumference. Both of these angles are coming from the same points, A and B. And it's very important that this theorem, it works when we have the center that is given to me and lines coming from the center. You can see in both cases over here. So again, the angle at the center, so this angle here, let's say that is 70 degrees. That angle is double, is two times the angle at the circumference. This would then be 35. And remember, in geometry, every statement has a reason, and this is your reason. It's quite a long one, it's quite a mouthful, but you have to know it. Say it out loud until it sticks in your head. Angle at center, that symbol means angle, angle at center equals two times angle at circumference. And just keep reminding yourself that the center angle is the bigger one. So this would be 2x, and this would be x. You do get other weird scenarios for this. So let's pretend again that I've got my center point over here. Let's call the center O once again. That's A and that's B. Remember, this theorem works if you go from the center. So it goes down to A and down to B. Then you start at A again and you take another line. Now, I've made mine red so you can see the difference. You can see it goes from O to A. Now I'm going to start at A again and I'm going to, instead of attaching it up here, like I did with the first example, I am going to attach it over here, which I'm allowed to do, just like this. 
So that original line is now overlapping with this new line. And that goes to point C. And then remember, we start at B again and attach it at point C like this. And again, the same theorem applies. This is the angle at the center. And this angle is double the size, is two times the angle at the circumference. So if this one is 100 or something silly like that, this one is 50. Just remember that this angle over here is formed by A and B. This angle over here, if we go backwards, is formed by A and B. The last weird one that we get, let's start again at the center. Let's call this A again and let's call this B again. Now, instead of attaching A up here, like in the first example, or somewhere over here, or somewhere over here, I'm going to go backwards and attach A over there and call this C. Same thing with B. Now, this one is a weird one. So think about it like this. The angle at the center, and now we're speaking about this angle, is double the size of this angle. This is a weird one. But it does form one of these four. They are all the same theorem. So if you get this in the test, your reason for all of these will be the same. The picture just looks slightly different. So here's that last one that I was showing you. The angle at the center, it's this one, this 2x, is two times the angle at the circumference. So if this big angle here is 300 degrees, then this one over here would be 150 degrees. So do some basic ones with me. Let's look at the first one. Over here, I'm looking for X. As you can see, angle O, the angle at the center, O is the center of the circle. This angle over here, the angle at the center, is formed by B and C, and so is A. If you go backwards, A is also formed by B and C. So its angle at the center is two times the angle at the circumference. What that means is the center one is always double, double in size. Think about it, the center one is bigger. Just take a look at the picture, it makes sense. So if this one is 30, X is going to be 60. And remember how we write this, so statement, X is equal to 60 and your reason. Angle at center, it's a long one, is equal to two times angle at circumference. And you are allowed to abbreviate circumference like that. If you look at this one over here, this is now the angle at the center. It is 80. And this is the angle at the circumference. So H will be half of the angle at the center. H will be 40. Remember, the angle at the center is double, is two times the angle at the circumference. Same reason. Let's see if you can find X, Y, Z. Pause the screen. So X is equal to 80. Why? Because X is the angle at the center. Again, we have to assume here that O is the center of the circle. They should tell you that. That's very important. The angle at the center, 80, is two times the angle at the circumference. Now, this one over here, this picture over here, is our, one of our weird scenarios. Remember, you go from a, O to A, let's pretend, and O to B. And then you go from A back to C and B back to C. So this is angle at the center and it's two times or double the angle at the circumference. So Y would be 25. Remember the one at the center is always bigger, it's double. And if I were in a test and I had to find X, Y, and Z, I'd, re I'd have to rewrite that, the reason every single time. And Z is another one of our weird scenarios. So you go from O here, you go from O there. So let's say A and B. You start at A and you go there to C. You go from B and you go there to C. So angle at the center, it's this outside one, is two times angle at circumference. So Z is 100. It's half of the angle at the center. Remember to check the links in the description box below if you want more videos practicing the theorems. And also more theorems linked down below. Check out my website for free resources, other resources, and I'll see you very soon. Bye, everyone.